Hello. Happy Monday. You made it. You made it back. It's so nice to see you guys. Ooh, looks like you're all there. We should do like attendance or something, huh? All right, you guys. Today we have an assembly. Did you guys get that message too? At 10 o'clock we have an assembly, so we'll see you there. All right, and I'll remind you later too. Okay, well, um, you guys should have received uh, the new learning packet for May. And I sent it through Google Classroom as well as Seesaw. So if you're having trouble getting it, if you don't have it, let your parent know to give me an email or text me or uh, a message and let me know so I can help you out, okay? But you should have um, all of that there. We're gonna just see how it works this week. It might be a little stumbling block here again because we don't have the actual paper, but that's okay. We're gonna figure this all out. I promise. Okay. All right. So let's just get started. Um, we have. Um, we're gonna just go through our alphabet here really quick, and then we've got a little bit of language arts business to take care of, and then we're gonna do a little bit of math, and uh, then that's it. I got a new song for you to sing too. All right. So here we go. You guys ready? We're gonna start with our apple card, which makes what sound? Ah. Are you guys ready? Okay. Here we go. That's a fancy A. Okay. You might see it sometimes when you read books. Here we go. Apple card A, 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 A. Bat card B, 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 B. Camel card C, K, K, K. Dolphin card D, 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 D. Egg card E, 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 E. Fire card F, 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 F. Oops, guitar card, fancy G almost got taken off there. Guitar card G, 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 G. Hippo card H, Inset card I, 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 I. Jumping card J, 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 J. Koala card K, 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 K. Lemon card L, O, O, O. Map card M, 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 M. Nest card N, 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 N. Octopus card O, A, A, A. Piano card P, Queen card Q U, you remembered. Qua qua qua. Rose card R er er er. Sun card S s s. Turtle card T, fancy T. T t t. Umbrella card U, uh uh uh. Volcano card V, v v v. Window card W, w w w. Box card X. Yo-yo card Y, yeah, 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 and zipper card Z. Z, Z, Z. All right, excellent. I feel like all yellow today, huh? Yellow sun, I wore a yellow shirt. I got a yellow little tablecloth there. <laughs> all right, so uh, today what I did is I went back and I got the fry, the first list of fry words. So we've been through list one, first fry list, second fry list, and the third fry list. Each list has 20 words, that's 20, 40, 60 words, okay? So we're gonna go back, we're gonna go back and review that first list again. The whole time you guys should have been working on all these, or you could be working on all these, you probably should be working on these if you don't know them, okay? These ones are super, super important, okay? So these are the words that are used in our English language, in books, in speaking, and in writing. These are the most popular words, according to Mr. Fry. Okay, so let's go ahead and learn them. These, again, you have to learn them uh, by just memorizing them. You just have to learn them. You cannot sound them out. Well, this one you can, so that's not a really good thing to say, but we just need to say them, okay? Instead of sound them out. Here we go. It, with, is, you, for, his, and, they're easier than last week, huh? Yeah, a lot. They, as, are, in, a, the, he, I, to, on, was, that, of. There you go. You did it. Easier. You guys know more this time around? I bet you do. I bet you do if you've been working on it. Okay, today we're going to do a little bit of blending, okay? Remember blending? We're like making those chocolate chip cookies. Jacqueline's been making, oops, sorry. Jacqueline's been making some um, peanut butter chocolate chip cookies lately. And she only has like four ingredients in them. Anyway, they turn out okay. And I think, I'm kind of embarrassed to say, but I think she got the recipe from TikTok. 
I don't know about that, but anyway, whatever. They taste good. Here we go. Let's try this one. Quiz. Good quiz. How about this one? G -a -s -t. Guest. You didn't wait till the end, did you? You thought I was only gonna say three sounds. Let's try that one again. G -a -s -t. Guest. Like I'm having a guest over for dinner. No, 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 we can't do that right now because we are, uh, you know, maintaining our distances and staying at home. How about this one? Qu -a -k. Good, quack. How about this one? J -i -g. Jig. Good one. How about this one? V -a -s. Vase. Good, like the flowers goes in the vase. If your daddy gets your mom some flowers. Mmm, some pretty flowers. All right, they go in a vase. How about this one? I got four sounds on this one. Just forewarning you. Just wait till I get to the very end, okay? J, a, m, p. Ah, somebody forgot the m. Mm. One of you did. I don't know who it was. Try it again. J, a, m, p. Jump. There you go. There you go. Everybody got that time. How about this one? W, a, x. Wax, like you put, uh, like a candle's made out of wax. How about this one? I have four sounds on this one, okay? So hang in there till the very end. J, a, b, z. Yeah, jobs. J, a, b, z. Jobs. Like I have a lot of jobs to do today. I've got a rake, and then I gotta go get gas, and then I gotta go grocery shopping. You could call us chores or jobs. Kind of means the same thing, right? All right, last one. V -a -m -t. I know I didn't tell you there was gonna be four, did I? There's gonna be four sounds, okay? So listen. V -a -m -t. Vent. Like the vent, the air conditioning comes out of the vent when you're in the car. Whew, it cools you off. Boy, do we have the air conditioning on lately, don't we? All right, good. Okay, another um, something that you're working on today is categorization. You're looking at different pictures and figuring out whether or not it belongs as a part of a tree, okay? So um, I did not, you know, kill any trees or bushes in the process of doing this, but I wanted to show you a couple things. So this here, just so you know, I got this from one of my trees and this one too. But these, if I take off a piece of this, see how it has like the stick? Okay, it has like a little stick. This is a real tiny one. This is not a really good example. So probably this one is better. So this has like a stick and then it has the leaves that come off of it. So that's called a branch. So that's a part of a tree is a branch. Now, if you look at this, just one little one of these, if I take one of these off, like I just take that, was a nice size one right there. Okay, that one there. And then I got this one because this is a different one. So this one, and this is from a different tree. Those are called leaves or each one of those is a leaf and that would be a part of a tree. So a leaf is a part of a tree, okay? A branch, okay, like this, I took it off. <laughs> I don't have a tree growing in my room here. Uh, a branch is a part of a tree, and I also I'm gonna show you another part of a tree. Now, I didn't take this off the tree, really. My dog kinda did, but look at this here. What part of the tree is that? I think it went like this. Ooh, might have some bugs in it. Ooh, I better be careful. Anyway, what part is this? This is the outside part of the tree. Does anybody know what that's called? The bark. It's called the bark of the tree. And it's really important not to take this off. I scolded my puppy dog because in the bark of the tree, that's how the water, you see this? That's the inside part that is against the tree, right? So this bark, that's how the water goes up and travels up to the leaves and branches inside the tree up there. So without a bark, if you took all the bark off of the tree, the tree will die because it can't get any water up there. So that's bark, that's part of the tree. The branch, branches, that's a part of a tree. Leaves, those are part of a tree, okay? The leaves, all right? And that's it, okay? You're categorizing, make sure you can find all those things that belong on a tree. Now, is a nest a part of a tree? No, a nest is a home for a bird and they just happen to make it inside of the tree. But a nest is not part of a tree. So don't get confused with the nest, okay? All right. All right, today, um, and one of your assignment pages today is you're working on the rose card, okay? I'm gonna find it here really quick. Uh, quick. 
and you guys are going to be um, figuring out which objects begin with a er sound and which objects um, do not. But the ones that do not, you're still, I want you to write down the beginning sound to those objects, okay? But we're gonna, again, we're just gonna be talking about the rrr, and I'm gonna um, get something ready for you guys, and I'll be right back. Okay, do you guys remember when we used to do tree maps? Well, today we're gonna do a tree map, okay? And the tree map is gonna have that R sound that we were talking about, right? That rose card sound. So on one side, we're gonna put the er or that rose card. Okay, so I'm just going to put it right here. I'll make it kind of big so you guys can see. You see that okay? On the other side, the other branch, we're going to have that words that do not start with our er. So I'm just going to put the er here, but I'm going to put a little circle with a line through it. So those are the ones that do not start with our er, okay? And I'm just going to, let's just start with this one right here because it's kind of in my way. But do you guys know what this is called? I know that um, it's kind of small. And it might look different than yours. And this wall has to go do this out in my yard. And I have to go do this to the leaves that are coming down from the tree. You think it was fall or something. But I have all these leaves coming down. Do you guys know what this thing is called? It's called a rake. You're right. So rake. What does rake start with? Oops. Just crashed down. Uh, rake. What does rake start with? Right. The er. So I would put that word over here with the er. So we're going to write rake, rake, okay? Remember we used to draw little pictures of it? Whatever. There we go. Rake, okay? So let's try another one here. I've got, before he storms out of here, yeah, that's my friend. Remember? You've seen him before. All right, so what is the name of this? Right, a dinosaur. What does dinosaur start with? Right, a d, d. Is that the er sound? No, it's not the er sound. So we're going to put him over here on this side, okay? So dinosaur would go over here, and that's a very long word. D-I-N-O-S-A-U-R. Ooh, listen, it has an er at the end. Listen, dinosaur. So you see the R at the very end? But we're only doing if the R is in the beginning of the word, okay? Just if you hear the R in the beginning. Okay, let's try another one. Let me get um, tell you about this one because this one is kind of in my way here. It's called a, well, a picture of Kevin. There he is, he's little. Now he's big. All right, this here though, I think he made this for, for Mother's Day. You guys know Mother's Day's coming up, right? So this here is called a frame. You guys say frame? Frame. Now what does frame start with? Right, a f. So where does that go? Right, that would go over here because it does not make the er sound, okay? So we're going to write frame here. Starts with that F, like you said. Ooh, I do hear an R in it, though, don't I? Frame. There is an R here. But it's not the beginning of the word. So we're going to make it go over there where it's not R. Just for the beginning sound. All right, do you guys know what this is called here? I have two different ones. It has numbers on it. Oh, look at this one's upside down. They're kind of dirty, too. Oh, look, it says Jacqueline's name on it or something. There's one here. And this one here. This one has all the presidents on it. Look at that. I think we had those at school or something too. Anyway, so do you guys know what that's called? Ruler. Can you guys say ruler? Ruler. What do you hear at the beginning of ruler? Yeah, we hear that er, rose card again, right? R ruler. Okay, so we're gonna put that where on the branch has the R. So that goes on a, oops, ruler. Ooh, and look at that word begins with an R and it ends with an R. Ruler, you see that? Okay, and the ruler is like this, has those numbers, one, two, three, four, whatever. Okay, ruler, excellent. Okay, let's do another one here. I've got, what's that? It's a bell, bell. What do you hear at the beginning of bell? Right, a b, b. So that's not the er, right? So we got to put that over here too. Bell, b, b. It's your B, isn't it? B, b, L, and two L's. So that goes here. Okay, and the last little guy we had, this was here a couple weeks ago when we had Easter. Our little bunny rabbit, right? Rabbit, what does rabbit start with? Right, just starts with that r like we hear in the rose card, rabbit. Okay, so that goes over here on our branch that has the R. 
So we have rabbit, R, rabbit has two Bs, not just one. And I'll draw a really quick little rabbit, little eyeballs, triangle nose. There, there's our rabbit, okay? All right, so you guys are gonna be working that R as a beginning sound, okay, uh, today. All right, and that is it for our language arts. We're gonna take a little break. If it's time to um, meet me at the assembly with the whole rest of the school, it's 10 o'clock, assembly time. <laughs> Gotta get there, all right? And then I'll see you afterwards and we'll do a little bit of math, okay? Bye.